all that. How about Charlie Wisco thinking I'm going to fly him to fucking the Final Four? Yeah. How about since... how about we start with me knowing who you are? Also, you know who who this is? He Andy Murray pulled a gas. That's a move, gas move. He's a gas move. <laughs> he would pull it in a second. He would just stir the pot on you and then walk away. Like that's exactly what he would do. <laughs> She was not a fan of your boy Nate Blog. No, no, Katie was not a fan of me. Weird. I don't know why. Yeah, you were pretty you were pretty charming, I would say. <laughs> like I could see Nate like going and shoveling somebody out and be like, Oh, I didn't want anything and then three weeks later you're in his freezer. And it's like, Oh, what happened? How'd we go how'd we go from Nate not wanting anything to I'm um, now in a million pieces in his freezer? I guess you're probably gonna want to address the uh, the abuse of a dog. Okay, there was no dog abuse. Let's just stop with that. So let's stop the Katie Nolan speak real quick. There that's was no not dog Katie abuse. Nolan speak. I, that's like you threw in a whole loop of the dog. I actually threatened to break a, a bottle, dead serious, over Gaz's sales guy's face. I'm not saying you abuse the dog regularly. No, I didn't. I didn't either. I just was appalled that you didn't like feel bad. Because he bets $100 a game. And he needles everyone. He doesn't And he just trips. Oh, I won Michigan State on that block layup. Said Dis- I said stuff. she disobeyed me. I said she did. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and you got maybe maybe you need to hit her more. And Gaz is oh, it was, tried to break his face with a bottle. She gave Hank a he- high five. That was actually she- brutal. <laughs> she went, she went hug the high me, five, hug to John, hug to Kevin, <laughs> high five to Hank. I was just like, I remember saying it too. I was like, oh, Hank, that you just got the there. fucking friend high five so hard. <laughs> Your boy Nate causing a fight like that and Big Cat pulling up with the fucking <laughs> fucking pickup truck to get in there. I don't know how I missed the Nate of the Union. I didn't even know the Nate of the Union existed till today. I'm like legitimately as excited as I could be to watch the Nate of the Union tonight. <laughs> I, you know, I, Nate, Devness Nate lulled me. I never get lulled into a false sense of security. He lulled me into a, He's like, it'll be perfect by Monday. What did you uh, think of uh, Nate of the Union? You know, I love this fucking guy. I love this fucking guy, Nate. I don't know what it is about. I couldn't listen to it for more than, like, three minutes. I think people don't realize that Nate is, like, the sneaky, cockiest person at Barstool. And it's not even close, actually. Like, I'm cocky, but it's, like, it's a kind of a shtick. Nate, at one point during his show, was like, I'm the best thing going at Barstool. <laughs> yeah, he's serious. He's serious. I love him. I can't get enough Nate. I, I Like, I don't want, yeah, no, I don't need, like, Barstool JJ being the guy who fucking invites. I want like the head of a panel. Like, how about when I take a picture with Linda Cohn at the fucking Florida Panthers thing? Hank tweets it, says my name and Linda Cohn and and Puck Daddy, those cocksuckers, they they blog it and say Linda Cohn, courtesy of handsome Hank. How about Channel 5 today uses the 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 dropkick Murphy's video that was sent into a barstool and they credit John Feidelberg. No, credit Barstool. I mean, Feidelberg. It's Feidelberg. He's Lady Feidelberg. He doesn't gamble. He doesn't play fantasy, right? Lady Feidelberg. So, oh, everyone here is, like, lifting weights. It's crazy. Oh, the the 200-pound thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, Hank. (laughs) Come here, Hank. I love when the office gets in these kicks, like when you when Gaz was making everyone eat healthy, it's, and now you guys are all lifting weights together. Everyone but me. It's like it, it, it's it's this has turned into Globo Gym here. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't even. Do you guys even know what the savior is about? <laughs> no. I am on the, our fucking website today, and there's a guest that asked by somebody whose handle is the savior. Because you're not going to get to 30. Feinberg's hitting the gym. I don't think he looks that great. I think he's just starting to look fat. I want to know. It's it's on Philly. Is it Smitty who put this guy into... Smitty, did Smitty put this guy into the system as the savior? Who's driving this bet? Is it Gaz? It's got to be Gaz. doing this? I saw Gaz. I, I thought I had to come to the office. I lost my credit card. I came to the office. Gaz's truck is out front. I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm at the gym. It's like Saturday. Chill out, bro. Like, yeah, worry about your you like, worry to- about your hair. A-Rod's letter. Oh, I skipped over. A-Rod's letter. JJ, your boy JJ, who probably dresses like this on the regular, just not on the <laughs> right now. Just like, this is how JJ... Shit about JJ. JJ is salt of the earth. You have let... Paul, sales guy, gas man, run wild for like a decade yeah. now. He has run a, a land like this. whatever he wants. He's a puppeteer. 
I will give that speech. I've given that quite a bit, Trent, um, to employees here here that have come and gone in future or whatever. It's the comment section, you know, when they're like, oh, Big Cat's funnier than you. Twitter, uh, Trent's better on Twitter. KFC's the next coming. It's like people complaining to Bob Kraft that the revolution make more money than the Patriots. It all goes into one pocket. So I'm happy for you, Trent. You realize what you did. You hired a sales guy to not sell anything. So he's just fucking get bored out of his mind, mind selling to all these guys. I don't he's just mind, selling dude. all his ideas. I'm not sure there's anything worse than being super tall and bad at sports. Like at one time, both of them aren't here anymore. We had tall guy who I don't know how tall he was. He was tall as shit, like 6'6". Six, six. And then we had Ian. He's taller? He's 6'9". He was 6'9". Tall guy was 6'9"? Pretty sure he was 6'9", and he didn't play basketball. You're right. It's it's The first question everyone asks when you're really tall is, oh, you must have played basketball. No, I'm like, uh, I'm a barely an intern at Barstool Sports. That's demoralizing. The second you get to the holding cell when they put my man, sales guy, into the holding cell by himself with a guy who literally looked like he was on bath salts and ready to eat Paul's face. And Gaz looked like he was going to cry. It was like so far cuddled in the corner away from this guy.